Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to walk you through another day of high fat carnivore. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes, other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose over 130 pounds. If you're new here, I hope you check out some of my other videos and my website. Returning viewers, welcome back. I hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, today I'm gonna to walk you through a day of high fat carnivore, which is something I've been doing since November 1st. Um, so it's about 10 o'clock, well, it's 10.20. It's one of those days that I'm having my first meal. Usually I have it earlier. I'm having to spread things out um, in order to get the higher fat in and keep my protein stable throughout the day. I'm having to spread out my food into smaller meals. Um, so I've already had my coffee. So you'll see my coffee on the screen there. And uh, it was a, a creamy, fatty coffee. I uh, threw an element package in there. And that's kind of how I started my morning this morning. Um, so I'll be talking about Element later on. They are the sponsor of today's video for which I thank them very much. So uh, now I have already been out. I've already been to the office to pick up paperwork. We're expecting our first snowfall today. So I wanted to make sure that I had everything I needed to hunker down here at home and work from home where it's nice and cozy and I have a fireplace. They don't give me a fireplace at work, unfortunately. So um, here's my first meal. It's going to be, I made some buns the other day, some BBBE hot dog buns. Um, they're about 60% fat from calories. So of course I need to add things to that. And I'm going to add um, today some liver pate that I made the other day. And I'm having a quarter cup because I know what those macros are. And I'm going to uh, put that, I'm only having half a bun. I find the, these buns too filling for me to have a whole one, believe it or not. I mean, I remember the days when I could, you know, eat an entire one like that, but not so much. So um, the other thing I'm going to have is some meat chips. So I've got my bag of meat chips here and I've weighed out half an ounce. So with these meat chips, when I made them, I actually weighed the roast. So I, I, I had a roast, it's uh, bottom round with very little fat. I mean, there was like, you know, hardly any fat in it. Although I did find some later after I was slicing it. I sliced it with my meat slicer and then I um, put the, the thin slices into my dehydrator. But when I, when I made it, I weighed the roast. It was 15 ounces. It was a small roast. Then I weighed all the chips that I made after and it was exactly seven and a half ounces. I couldn't believe it. So when I weigh out a half an ounce of these chips on my scale, then I, for counting it in chronometer, I can just find the roast, one ounce of that roast, and, and that's basically what I'm eating. So just in case you were wondering, you know, how to, how do you count dehydrated uh, or baked meat chips? So I'll put the links to the meat chips and the liver pate and those buns all down below. So you can watch those videos if you're wondering how to make some of these things. I am going to put just a little teaspoon of butter. That's about a teaspoon on this bun. This meal, I've kind of worked out the macros already and it is going to be um, just over 80%. It should be almost right on or maybe even 81% um, fat and 20% uh, protein. So this is something that uh, I would have had quite often as a kid. <laughs> a bun with liver sausage. Now I'm gonna have some left over, so I'll just leave it in the cup and eat that with a spoon. And I also need one of my pats of butter here. I will have the exact macros of this meal up on the, the screen there so you'll be able to see. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is a pretty, 
a pretty nice meal. I like this meal. And one of my favorite things to do is little bits of butter on these meat chips. And also the, the liver pate on the meat chips is excellent as well. But today I wanted to have it on a bun. Kind of reminds me of my childhood. Uh, my dad loved his liver sausage. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to work at my desk with my meal and I'm going to see you guys in the next segment for meal number two. Hi everybody, I'm back for my second meal. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to address this. In my, I think it was my liver pate video, I had this bag on the counter and it did stir up a couple of comments. People were wondering what it is, you know, what kind they are, where I get them. I mean, I'm in Canada, so this just came from one of the local grocery stores. It's Old Dutch Bacon Puffs. And the ingredients, it says product of USA on the back. So possibly you can find that there. Um, but the ingredients are pork rinds, lard, and salt. So they're, they are really light and puffy. They're, so yeah, just thought I would answer that for those of you who were asking about them. So I decided I needed something warm for lunch. I'm going to have some eggs with an ounce of um, beef fat trimmings. So this is what a lot of people are sort of wondering about those and, and this is what they look like. They're, you know, when you look at them, they are mostly fat and a little bit of protein in there. Um, they're literally trimmings cut off something, some kind of beef. Um, I'm gonna cook the eggs in, I've got some frozen butter bites. This is like a tablespoon's worth of butter. Um, but everybody is going on about how good eggs taste in browned butter and I've never tried that actually. So, so that's all I'm gonna do, I, and, and I'll just, uh, you know, I won't bore you with cooking eggs um, in a frying pan, so um, I will be right back with my finished lunch to show you. All right, I wanna get all that brown butter on there. Okay, I uh, have my eggs, two eggs, some brown butter, and my beef fat trimmings. And speaking of fat, I wanted to tell you, I forgot to tell you earlier, that yesterday I did my very first fat fast. It was all fat all day. I think I ate 2,100 calories <laughs> worth of fat. Um, last night, I slept like a baby. So, um, yeah, it, it, uh, it's been a while since I have slept that well. Um, and this morning, my ketones were, were up a few points. My blood glucose was down and I had a GKI of 2.81. And that's probably uh, one of the lowest that I've had since I've been trying out the 80-20. And, and so I'm pretty encouraged about that. So we'll, we'll see how things go. Um, so one of the things I wanted to ask you is, are you interested in if I do a day of fat fast on camera um, to show you what I, you know, what I ate that day, um, I would be willing to do that if uh, if people want to have that. So just let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to go back to my desk and work. It is close to month end, so it is very busy at work, and uh, I'm going to enjoy my eggs and beef fat. We'll see you in the next segment. Hey everybody, I'm back to have some dinner. It is cold outside and it has been snowing this afternoon. It's our first snowfall. So I'm all ready to hunker down for the next two or three days. I don't have to go anywhere. Um, so I'm, I've got my dinner kind of sorted out here, uh, but before I get to my dinner, I wanted to thank the sponsors of this video, Element. What is Element? It is a super tasty electrolyte drink with a science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium. Lately, I have been loving the chocolate. I started off as all I wanted was the citrus. 
For some reason, as the weather's getting colder, I'm liking the chocolate, I'm putting it in coffee. I use my little electric Aero Latte. You can whip up some butter if you don't do cream. I've also done butter with one of these in coffee. I imagine that would work in tea as well. Possibly even just hot water and a couple of butters and one of these. I've put them in my butter bites too, I have to admit. Um, in some of them, not all of them. Anyways, uh, yeah, really liking the chocolate these days. So you don't have to be an athlete to love Element. It is good for people like me who just have trouble balancing their electrolytes. If I have one of these every day, I feel pretty good. No leg cramps at night, so I'm sticking to it. Right now, Element is offering to my subscribers a free sample pack of all eight flavors. You can try the different flavors, you can give the sample pack to a friend, or you can use it as a stocking stuffer. It is free with any purchase from their website at drinklmnt.com slash ketogenic woman. You'll see it on the screen. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash ketogenic woman. It will also be in the link below. You can get that free sample pack with any purchase of Element from their website. Thanks again, Element, for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna move on to my dinner now. So my dinner is going to be, I have, the, this is the last of my, I had some stew meat and it was really good stew meat. I got it from the butcher. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it is full of collagen and all kinds of stuff. This is not like the, the, it's not like the stew meat you get in a regular grocery store where it's all lean. I don't know what they did this time, but this was, this was, uh, this was super stew meat. <laughs> I, I've just been loving it. So I have four ounces. Um, well, it's actually three and a half ounces because, because it's cooked. I count it as four ounces in chronometer, um, but cooked, uh, it'll shrink down to about three and a half ounces. So it, it, it if that makes any sense. But anyways, as my fat, I am having a tablespoon of butter, and this is a tablespoon of tallow, whipped tallow. So let me explain that. Um, that I learned from uh, Becky Niles, who has a YouTube channel where she shows how she makes her tallow. So I made it the same way. I made a bunch of big, I'll link that below so that you can see that. Um, I made a bunch of snowflakes. Um, they're not, I'm not gonna say I love them because I don't wanna lie to you. <laughs> but the, as I'm eating, I am starting to get used to them. Um, she used um, some kind of uh, highly concentrated flavor drops that don't have any sugar and, or sweeteners or anything like that in them. And I had some, uh, O, 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 triple O flavor. They're these little tiny bottles and they also don't have any type of sweetener in them. They're just a concentrated flavor and I chose maple. So it has the slightest, slightest hint of maple, but I didn't, I either didn't use enough or um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put an element in there. I don't know. Maybe I should melt it down and put an element in there. So I've got my, and, and so you notice I only have a quarter of a snowflake because there's no way I'm eating a whole snowflake. So, but this is the equivalent of two tablespoons of fat and I've got my protein. This will be something like, uh, well, it'll be 80-20 for sure, where it lands around there. You will see up here, because I, I have yet to figure out the macros, but you'll see it up on the screen. And I will put the total macros for today down at the bottom or on the screen, depending on how organized I can get before this is um, done. So that is my food for the day. And I hope it gives you some ideas on what to do for 80-20. I'm going to put my 80-20 high fat carnivore playlist that I made, it's down below. Not only does it include 
my 80-20 um, meals that I've been eating all month. It also includes four Tuesday talks where I talk about 80-20 and some of the ins and outs. And it includes interviews with Dr. Bright from uh, Kelly Hogan and Steak and Butter Gal. And it also has Kelly interviewing Amber O'Hearn and Stephanie Person, where they also talk about high fat carnivore and why it's so good for women like me who are, you know, in my age group and with my history. So um, I hope you check, check out my playlist so you can, you know, you'll get all those videos in one place. You don't have to go hunting for them. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next videos. Any questions you have, please ask me below and I will try to answer them next time. We'll see you later. I didn't really end that very well, did I?